The Buffalo Bills returned home overnight as are all their minds likely on their teammate who is still in critical condition after a hit during last night's football game. The team says safety DeMar Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest on the field in the first quarter. Hamlin tackled a Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver. He is the white jersey and during the hit Hamlin appears to take the brunt of the impact on his chest. You see him stand up but then after a moment he collapsed on the turf. Now fans and players could only watch as Hamlin received CPR on the field for several minutes. That's according to ESPN broadcasters. The team says his heartbeat was restored and he was taken to a level one trauma center. The game was postponed and outside the stadium Cincinnati fans offered their support. Nobody wants to experience something like this. You know, no one wants to go through this. That was horrific, you know, and we're we're hoping that something great comes out of this, which is his recovery. And take a look at this. Hamlin recently posted on Instagram to support his annual holiday toy drive for kids. He initially set a goal of raising $2,500, and since last night, that drive has reached more than $3 million. Yesterday's incident is the latest of a slew of high-profile injuries this season. Now, back in October, Cardinals defensive end J.J. Watt revealed that he was treated for the heart condition called atrial fibrillation. He had to have his heart shocked back into rhythm and two days later he played against the Carolina Panthers. Now on September 29th Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa was sent to the hospital after slamming his head against the turf in a game this was against the Bengals. The moment called greater attention to an investigation that was launched the week prior into how the Dolphins responded when he appeared to suffer a concussion in a game against the Bills four days earlier. Tungavailoa was diagnosed again with a concussion on December 25th after being tackled tackled in the game against the Green Bay Packers, sparking a second review of the league's concussion protocol.